Race three of the BMW IBS F four-man bobsleigh World Cup to round out the action in Lake Placid. Switzerland's Cedric Follador has just started driving in the World Cup this season and the rookie pilot has had a good run of it so far. In the leader's box as he started his second run was the USA's Frank Del Duca who'd been 11th in the first heat and had driven himself up to the fringes of the top six. Follador had time in hand at the start but his ride was not quite as neat and tidy as he might have hoped. Below Shady it all got a little fast but he had just enough in hand to cling on and take the lead at the line. A World Cup best result for Follador. Not necessarily though for Johannes Lochner. After the first heat, the top five were covered by 14 hundreds of a second. Frankly, any of them could have been in the medals and on this track, realistically, any of them could have won. Lochner won the two-man the previous day with a pretty wild pair of rides, but had not been feeling the love for the four-man all week long. Nevertheless, his first run was tidy enough to put him in the frame, and his second looked like it might do the same, building his advantage over Follador all the way down the track to hang on. 36 hundreds in front, René Spies not convinced that was enough for the gold. Francesco Friedrich hadn't enough in the first heat to get into the top three, but he is a resilient competitor. Silver medalist in the two-man the previous day, this is one of the few tracks where he has never won in a four-man in all his career. And three years away hasn't helped his intimacy with the track either. Nevertheless, he was quickly into the lead over Lochner, and extended his advantage by a couple of hundreds early on. But by the midpoint, it was down to just three. And from there on, he needed his special touch of magic to pull away. Three sleds still remain, first of whom was Great Britain's Brad Hall. The crew had been just a hundredth off the fastest start in the first heat, that tied Lochner's crew for it in the second, giving their driver every opportunity to cling on in the medals. Brad's already got four four-man silvers and a bronze under his belt and has had a good start to the season throughout North America in two-man and four-man. But perplexed at where the speed had gone in the two-man, he didn't hold up much hope for finding it in the four-man. The first run showed that he had it and the second well, he was just a hundredth in front of Friedrich with two to go. Had he denied the great German a medal of any colour? Only two sleds remained and with Hall in the leader's box, we were guaranteed a first time winner. But who? Just 100 that separated Switzerland's Mikkel Vogt from the lead in the first heat, but a disaster in the start. He almost lost one of his crewmen and it wrote off any opportunity they had of taking a medal. So much drama at the start, the sled sideways all over the track. It'll have to wait for another day. Which meant it would either be Brad Hall winning or Christoph Harfer. Harfer had just six hundredths of a second in front. His previous World Cup best came two weeks earlier in Park City in race two of the season where he claimed a bronze. Leading after the first heat and with the dressing room emptying around him, would he be able to hang on? It was nerve-bitingly close. Just 900s in it at Shady 2, corner 10, but the gap extended. He didn't have the greatest chicane, and it was victory for Brad Hall by 700s of a second. Team GB claiming their first gold medal since Lamin Dean won in Whistler in 2017. The boys gave themselves a great early Christmas present. They remain second in the World Cup standings, but this day will live in their memories for a long while.